Alright guys, just a little side note, I'm gonna be looking this way because this is where my computer is, but we're gonna be reacting, man. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Turn to my Astros a little bit here. I'm already feeling the, the modern vibes. Ooh, the shoddy. Two piece. Boys, this is the game, dude. That's a drone. Ooh. Sniping looks a bit interesting. We got a little drone. Recon drone. Got him on the turret. AK. Oh, so that is like a little strafing run. Gun runner. Yo, I'm digging this. I'm digging these vibes, bro. I know a lot of people were hating on it in the beginning in the 2v2 gameplay, but look at this gameplay, man. It looks so much different in the 2v2. Juggernaut. Oh my goodness. Jeez, bro. That Juggernaut is broken. Juggernaut taking out that chopper. Tank. Oh, they got the javelin. Oh, the javelin, bro. Ate that tank up. Yo, Modern Warfare looks so lit, boys. Oh, my God. The nuke. The nuke, it's back, bro. The nuke is back. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Modern Warfare, October 25th. Get early access to the open beta. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Simp here. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today, what I got for you guys on the channel is a live reaction to the Modern Warfare multiplayer reveal. I'm super excited to get my hands in this game and start putting in some hours for you guys. Start pumping out some insane content. As you guys do know, in Black Ops 4, I was able to get some insane world record gameplays all the way throughout the whole entire year in Black Ops 4. And I'm expecting to do the same in Modern Warfare. So I just can't wait to get my hands on it, guys. Uh, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to the Gaming Revolution for actually getting these leaks. Also, a quick shout out to some members in Doom. Doom A's, Doom Paradox, they were actually the ones that helped me find these leaks. So give my shout outs where they are due, give credit where it is due. Uh, big credit to this guy right here though for linking this. As you guys can see, here's his Twitter and he has 250,000 subs on YouTube. Didn't even know that, but let's get right into the video guys. Uh, he leaked kill streaks, he leaked a bunch of stuff and I want to start going over it right now. Alright guys, so the first leak that I want to cover is actually the kill streaks. If you didn't know, in Black Ops 4 we actually have score streaks, so it kind of incentivizes you to play the objective more. It doesn't make you play as campy. In this game, kill streaks, you only get your streaks by camping, or not necessarily by camping, but by getting kills. And technically, that'll make players play a lot more campy. So I'm just hoping that we don't have a, a ton of campers in Modern Warfare because that could really make this game play like a doozy. But anyways, guys, let's just get into what you guys want to talk about. Talk about these kill streaks real quick. First thing, I just want to let you guys know that the only one like that I'm a hundred percent sure about what it does is the gunship because obviously he has it hovered right here and we can see the details on it and stuff like that. Obviously, these are a hundred percent confirmed kill streaks, but I'm just not sure what every single one does. So. Starting at number three, we got what looks to be like some kind of a chopper. I definitely hope that that is not a real chopper uh, because that would just completely be a doozy if at three kills you could earn a chopper. That would just be 
extremely weird let me know though down in the comment section if you guys have any uh, ideas on what any of these could be if you may think that i'm wrong but number four i'm gonna have to say it looks like a drone to me maybe a drone you could call in it's gonna you know help you it's gonna give you an idea of where the enemies are in your area uav i'm gonna have to say right here for the at four kills i'm gonna have to say that this is a care package these two right here at five kills look to be like some kind of a hellstorm missile i'd say right here on the right is the one that's probably the hellstorm missile i'm not 100 percent sure which one or what this could be let me know down in the comment section if you guys have any clues this looks like it could be some kind of a stray front or something like that also not 100 percent sure on that one i am like 99.9 .9 sure this is going to be a tank as at seven kills there are two though so i'm not sure you know they might both be tanks uh, I don't think this is a tank. This looks like something else that you can just control, but I know the tank is like manually controlled, so you're going to be able to get in there and have control of like a 50 caliber rifle or something like that. It seems to be pretty overpowered, uh, but we'll see when we get the hands on the game. At 8 kills, judging by right here at 4 kills, I'm going to have to say it's like a group of care packages that you can call in, kind of like a, a supply drop. Uh, moving on to at 8 kills as well. It looks like this is some kind of uh, a Harrier maybe, a Lightning Strike. I'm not 100% positive on that. At 10, looks like you're going to get the first chopper. It could be a Sniper's Nest, something of that nature because it does look like there's two choppers. Uh, so I feel like they could be different, have different features obviously. Uh, right here looks like it could be some kind of a strafe run as well. Uh, obviously, I already talked about this one being a strafe run, so I'm not 100% positive. Obviously, one of these have to be wrong. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. At 12, like I mentioned, the gunship, heavy assault gunship with three types of armaments. Armaments. Sorry, guys, if I pronounced that wrong. You get that at 12 kills. Uh, so, yeah, the gunship is returning in the Modern Warfare. Right here looks like it could be a stealth bomber. Stealth bomber in Modern Warfare 3 was a very fun course or kill streak to run rather and at 15 kills the very last kill streak in the game the highest kill streak in the game you will get the juggernaut moving on to the equipment that we'll be seeing in modern warfare starting out with the munitions box it kind of reminds me of crash the crash assault pack place down a box to refill ammo of those around it you can also choose to equip a random weapon with attachments shoot the box if you dare pretty interesting I'm excited to see what exactly the munitions box is. Moving on to the recon drone. Let loose a flying drone with a camera as you control it with a tablet. Mark enemies in range for your allies to see them through walls. Enemies will be briefly blinded. That seems extremely overpowered. Uh, let's see how it plays out though, guys. It kind of reminds me of the Hawk, but, you know, enemies will also be blinded. And, you know, that, I don't know, that just seems pretty overpowered to me. We'll see how it plays out though. Stopping power rounds are coming back in the Modern Warfare. I don't know how I feel about that either, but pull high caliber rounds from your utility and load it into your weapon for extra damage and penetration. Each weapon has their own set amount of rounds. So I'm actually going to show you guys right now on screen what the stopping power rounds look like. Uh, you can activate them right there while it equipped it looks like. Reload your gun with stopping power rounds that deal extra damage. Recharge rate slow. So it, it looks like it does have a little bit of a, a side effect but regardless, interesting. Moving on to the trophy system, deploy a defensive unit on the ground that will eat up a total of 3 lethals, tacticals, or rockets before self-destructing. Take caution because or take caution being close when it activates so obviously it's been like that for prior call of duties with trophy systems they all have the, the exact same purpose and in this game if you're too close to it when it activates you can also like take damage it seems so pretty interesting nice to see trophy systems are coming back moving on though to the tactical insertion tactical insertions are definitely something that snipers love and just og players from modern warfare and stuff like that like to see in the game activate a flare to be placed on the ground to be chosen as your next respawn placement Try to hide these as enemies can destroy them. And moving on to the deployable shield, place a tactical non-movable shield into the ground to provide extra cover for you and your teammates. So kind of uh, like the torque shield a little bit, I guess. Let me know what you think about all of these or all of this equipment that we'll be seeing down in the comment section below. Last but not least, guys, we're going to be going over the controller settings leak. Obviously, your settings are probably going to be different. Everybody has their own settings that they like to use in game, but these are the default settings that you will see while you load into Modern Warfare. Activate field equipment with L1 and R1 and pretty much everything else is standard. But if you want to take a screenshot of this or any of the other leaks that you guys have seen within this video, I definitely recommend you guys do that. Just so you guys have it on you at all times if you want to show a friend or just look at it to get hyped like I am. Um, one last time though, I want to give a shout out to this man Gaming Revolution for being able to uh, post these leaks and show them to everybody on Twitter. Definitely go follow him if you want to see any more leaks. Uh, with all that being said though guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. It's been your boy Simp. I'm signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day.